With the new show in the Walking Dead universe, Tales of the Walking Dead, coming this summer, now's a better time than ever to talk about a character we may get to see for the first time in the show's universe. Despite never being mentioned nor referenced, his existence could be possible, offering a chance to bring the universe somewhere it's never been before. Europe. We are of course talking about Rick Grimes' younger brother, Jeffrey Grimes. In this video, we'll go over who he is, what his story is, and how we could see him on screen very soon. For a quick message before we begin, make sure you subscribe for much more The Walking Dead content. I have lots of theory videos planned, along with video essays on your favorite movies and shows. My first ever video essay came out last week, and it goes over why Ghostbusters Afterlife was a success, and why the 2016 reboot was a failure. I hope to talk about how The Walking Dead will end, which characters may die, along with much, much more starting very soon, so make sure you stay tuned to the channel. Also, a link to read this comic for for free will be in the description below, along with all the sources I've used in order to make this video. Now let's dive right into who Jeffrey Grimes really is. Jeffrey Grimes, often referred to as Just Jeff, was the younger brother of Rick Grimes and former best friend of Lori in high school. Jeff is the same age as Lori, and it was their high school friendship that led Rick to meeting her, falling in love, and eventually becoming married. Jeff was born in 1971 and is two years younger than his brother. And Rick being the leader he is, he would always stick up for Jeff throughout their school years, especially when Jeff had a limp and was often being made fun of, causing Rick to get in a lot of fights for his brother. Jeff says that it was after he finished school that he started working construction jobs, feeling he never fit in back home. He eventually saved up enough money from working, so he decided to go traveling around Europe in order to find himself. And that's where our story takes place. The Walking Dead The Alien is a solo one-off comic written by Brian K. Vaughn. From the opening pages, we learn where this story is set. Barcelona, Spain, the first place Jeffrey decided to travel while going on his excursion across Europe. It's here where Jeffrey gets a call regarding a family emergency. His brother Rick has been shot and has fallen into a coma. Yet Jeff has some bigger problems currently happening in Spain. Sleeping on top of a building, Jeffrey awakes to the sound of walkers and the cries of help from a young Somali boy. The boy is by himself on the street below, surrounded by them. Jeff causes a distraction to help the boy escape the onslaught, but he quickly becomes overwhelmed by the amount of walkers. Thankfully for Jeff, before it's too late, he is saved by a woman on a moped and dressed in knight's armor. She speaks to him in Catalan at first but upon realizing he's an American, she expresses that she needs his help and brings him back to her apartment. This woman is Claudia, a former curator at a museum who is in need of an American. At Claudia's apartment, the two get to know each other and share stories. Claudia tells him that they speculate the foreigners are the cause for the outbreak and its spread, and that there's a rumor going around that the Americans have discovered some sort of way to contain the Walker outbreak. Because of that, Claudia wants to go to the States in order to bring bring whatever treatment they have back to Spain for her people. For Jeff, he gets to tag along and be reunited with his family and brother, who's still in a coma. Claudia expresses that not many know the way to America, but fortunately for her, she has Jeff, and he agrees to help her on her journey. The next morning, Jeff hesitantly ventures out with Claudia to make it to the harbor, using the sewer system to avoid the thousands of walkers on the streets above them. Making it to the docks, the two climb out of the drainage system and make a run for it as walkers are clustered around. Jeff fights some walkers off with a mace as Claudia boards a boat. Jeff hops on too, seemingly safe from the horrors that roam the Barcelona streets, and now off to America. That was until a walker on board made its presence known. <laughs> Aiming to take the creature out, the walker knocks Claudia off the boat and into the water below. With the armor weighing her down and the walker also being in the water, Jeffrey jumps in to help and save Claudia, just as she did for him. He fights the walker off underwater, giving her enough time to pull the armor off. The two then escape the water and Claudia pulls Jeff back up onto the boat. Claudia says that she's fine and Jeff expresses the same until he looks down at his ankle. Claudia is in shock, and we learn that Jeff has been bitten. Knowing he doesn't have much time left before he reanimates, he pleads Claudia to put him down with his own mace. But before she does, he asks one last thing of her. One last promise. He asks Claudia that if she ever does make it to the States, that she'll get a message to his brother. 
his brother Richie. Jeff then says that these days, everybody calls him Rick. He tells Claudia that he's a police officer and was shot in the line of duty, but he'll pull through. That no matter what, he always does. Claudia remains reluctant, wanting to ensure Jeff also pulls through but he declines. Jeff wants to make sure that the message that he's sorry he never got to pay Rick back for all the times he stood up for him gets back to Rick whenever he awakens from his coma. And before his demise, Jeff takes one final look, a look at the beautiful view of Barcelona from the boat. But Claudia tells him to wait. She doesn't know how to find this Rick. She doesn't know where to begin looking. She doesn't even know their last names. But Jeff doesn't answer. She calls out for him again, but still nothing. And that's the end. While being a tragic story, it is the story of Jeffrey Grimes, ending on a somber note and only raising more questions. After this issue, Claudia was never seen nor mentioned ever again in this universe. Whether her trip to the States was successful still remains unknown to this day. And with the comic series now having been concluded for over two years, we will probably never get a true confirmation. Although, according to the fandom wiki for her character, Robert Kirkman said that Claudia was eaten by a whale soon after the comic ended. But as the wiki also goes on to say, I believe that is too absurd, so her fate remains a mystery. In the comics, we never hear of Claudia and we never get to see Rick find out the fate of his younger brother. So it is safe to assume she at least never made it to finding Rick Grimes. I mean, every odd was stacked against her. This made the story an anthology not only for Jeffrey, but also for Claudia. It was an isolated comic issue with no impact on the main comic series at all. And with that, I think Tales of the Walking Dead will do the same. When it was announced that The Walking Dead would be ending with season 11, we learned that it would be getting another spin-off that show being Tales of the Walking Dead. I am much more excited for this one over the Daryl and Carol spinoff, as a matter of fact, because the absolute potential for this show is so high. We learned that it would feature old and new characters alike, alive and dead ones. A confirmation has recently surfaced that Samantha Morton will return to play Alpha. These episodes will overall not have any effect on the story of the main show. Rather, it will just fill in the stuff we've never seen before. These episodes will be contained and likely won't have any sort of effect Effect on the ones before nor after it. They will be their own stories in different places, not trying to set something up, rather just to tell a story. The Walking Dead the Alien would be a perfect adaption for this type of show. The whole premise of it was to be an isolated story that has no effect on the main story. It takes place in Spain, far from the United States. A nuke could have been dropped on Barcelona and it wouldn't have changed the story of Robert Kirkman's series. It is important to keep in mind that Jeffrey Grimes was first mentioned in issue number 3 of The Walking Dead back in 2003. With the show, we've never gotten a mention of him before. So it is possible that Jeffrey doesn't exist in the show's universe, which I really hope is not the case. The Walking Dead has always been set strictly in America, and we have only seen the outside of the country with World Beyond's post credit scene taking place in France. And in France, well, they have running walkers. It would not only be cool to see Barcelona during the fall, but also to see if the walkers there have mutations like the ones in France. I'm sure a lot of out-of-country material is being saved for the Rick movies, hence the running walkers in the post credit scene setting up new threats and new mythos in this world. But having Barcelona shouldn't interfere with that at all, and it would be a nice break in the formula of always seeing things from the perspective of the United States. That's something I really hope Tales of the Walking Dead does in general too. I really want to see it break away from the states and deal with characters in other foreign countries. I think an anthology episode in China or Japan would be really cool to see. What happened there? What did their government do? And how long did they hold out with such high populations? As a Canadian myself, I would really love to see what happened in Canada. Did the government napalm areas like the states did? I have so many questions that span to many regions and continents. And I know not all of them will be answered, but I would really be happy with just one. Yet I am really excited to see some legacy characters return, and you should be too, because if done right, they may just be some of the best episodes 
episodes ever. We know we're getting an alpha and beta story at some point in season 1. It will probably be just them forming the whispers since we already know both of their backstories. Another solo Negan episode would be great too. If it takes place just after the Here's Negan episode, we'll get to see him find the sanctuary and form his first group of saviors. My main hope is still Jeffrey Grimes and I'm really praying they make it a story in the show's universe. Just a 45 minute episode following Jeff and Claudia in Barcelona would be perfect and only add to the Grimes mythos. With all of that taken into account, that was the story of Jeffrey Grimes and how we may see him one day in the show's universe. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments on his story and if you think we'll ever get to see him, especially in Tales of the Walking Dead. I'll make sure to read and get back to all comments. And if you enjoyed this video, why not leave a like? Also subscribe to the channel for much more of The Walking Dead content coming real soon, along with video essays talking about your favorite movies and shows. I want to offer more on this channel and I think video essays are the best way to go along with The Walking Dead. So make sure you stick around. Thanks everyone for watching, stay safe, and have a great day.